And a very good day to you. I want to ask you a question. Are you led by the Spirit or are you led by the flesh? Are you being led by the Holy Spirit or are you making your own plans? You know the old saying, Die boer maak a plan, that's Afrikaans. The English version is, the farmer makes a plan. Well, not one of my plans have ever worked. <laughs> okay? So I'm making God's plans. I'm doing what He wants me to do. I am being led by the Spirit. If you look at Galatians chapter 5 and verse 18, this is what the Word of God says. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law at all. Okay? So when you've been led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. Does that mean now we can break the law? No. If you are under the Spirit, you don't want to break the law. You don't want to steal. You don't want to commit adultery. You don't want to commit murder because it's against what God wants. So the Spirit is leading us into all righteousness and into all truth. There is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Why? Because if you're walking in the Spirit, you will not willfully commit sin. It's like that eagle that's soaring in the sky, high above all the problems and the, and the, and the filth and the, the ugliness of this world, motivated only by the wind of the Holy Spirit. Have you ever watched an eagle? I was in a game reserve just a week ago, and I look at that ma ma majestic African eagle sitting on a, on, a, on a branch. He was so amazing. And when they call out, you know, it's like all oh, creation just stands still. Even the lions <laughs> and even the leopards and even the buffalo and even the elephant, they stand still when that bird starts to scream. Why? Because he is free. He's not motivated by this world. No more fear of man. What will he think of me? You know, I've said it before. Ladies, when the Lord sets you free, man, isn't it wonderful? It doesn't matter what people think about you or what dress you're wearing or what shoes you're wearing because you belong to God and you become more beautiful just by being God's handmaiden. Free from self. That's the biggest the biggest enemy we have, especially today in this COVID-19 era, it's the fear of self-preservation. Looking after number one, I'm okay, Jack, and to hell with the rest of you. And I'm saying that word carefully. But when you are being led by the Spirit, you die to self, and then God gives you freedom. No more erratic obeying the law, dominated existence. Changing from day to day. Now we can go out. Now we can't go out. Now you can wear a mask. Now you can't wear a mask. But being free in the Spirit. Yes, we obey the law. Of course. Jesus says we must obey the authorities. Romans chapter 13. But we've got freedom in that we are not bound by the system of this world. But we are bound by the desire to serve God. What are the fruits of the Spirit? Well, if we look at Galatians chapter 5. And verse 22, we know there are nine fruits of the Spirit. Love, that's the most powerful of all. Joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are the things that the world is craving for and they can't have them. Why? Because they are bound by the law. Now, I just want to finish up and tell you that we've got a big bull. He weighs a ton. We put up a little electric wire that's got a little pulse in it and all that bull has to do is to walk through it and he's got lovely grass on the other side. But because of fear, he won't go near that wire. What about you? Are you controlled by fear or by the power of the Holy Spirit? Goodbye.